Well, first of all, don't be afraid to negotiate. It's uh, if you don't ask, you don't get. That's that's my opinion. And uh, in the US, it's actually quite common that you negotiate the salary. I must say for the internships, I'm not 100% sure to what extent uh, companies can do it. It's probably good to ask some people who went through that process. But in general, I would say you need to negotiate. And uh, it's, I think it became a little bit easier. Um, it's always stressful moment to negotiate, of course, but it's easier. Uh, it became easier in California because there is a new law in place and companies have to actually disclose a salary level for a specific role when they uh, recruit for it. Some companies can go a little bit crazy showing too big bracket for the salary level, but then you can find people who are in those roles and then discuss with them, okay, what is the package? It's not only the money, right? It's, uh, it's also the full package. Nowadays, the remote uh, work is being part of uh, negotiations uh, also in the, in the uh, job process or how many days uh, you can be in the, in the office. How many, like what is the um, healthcare package also? What is the um, like, uh, help with, uh, with also uh, studies because you can get some extra, extra funding for additional programs. And actually maybe that's also like great opportunity to, when you move for internship abroad, like look for those universities, Berkeley and Stanford, and check some you know short courses. Maybe you can invest also in that and be in that classroom with other people. Uh, it's uh, it's a fantastic hub for for learning more.